today our topic that we're looking at is Tūranga Waiwai and I guess for a family person um, that would be where do you stand um, in regard to having a family. Um, for me, um, I'm just looking my rabbits just hopping by at my feet, for me um, it has to be where my family are and where we live and uh, we've lived in our house for uh, all our married life in this house, 20 something years and our children have grown up here and uh, when we first looked at um, moving, you know, my daughter would look at another house and to see if those toys looked better because she thought she'd get up and walk out and go live in another house. Um, they've established their place here though and it seemed the most secure thing for us was to stay in one place and um, raise our family here. Um, we've got links of course to our parish so our parish is part of our Tūranga Waiwai too, it's who we are and where we stand and who we mix with and um, as you kind of grow with, with the parish and with the uh, parents that you meet at school you start to build some building blocks of um, that give you a solid foundation for your life so um, uh, where as a student, like for me, I was a student at Teachers College in Auckland, um, living in a weird old villa down at the seedy end of Parnell with a key as big as a, somebody going past, a key as big as a, I don't know, a screwdriver um, to get into our house. Um, back in the days when the Parnell Panther was loose in Parnell and uh, I remember coming home for the holidays and my brother ringing and talking to me about it and me saying don't tell mum about that and ages later she asked me what that was and I said well <laughs> it was the Parnell Panther but we weren't it was fine so back then though we were flatting we did what we wanted we had no obligations and um, uh, when I came back to Wellington, I looked for a flat, I move around, you don't have too many possessions. Once you start a family, you start to build this solid base. And uh, you have not just your possessions, but your partner, and then your children, and the things that are important to them. And, and then you start to build in relationships. You've got your neighbours, and we've got fantastic neighbours around us here, and always have had. And... Then we've got our parish and the people we meet at Mass and then the children go to school and we get a whole lot of other people from school and all these people form these kind of levels of, of solid foundation and then as everyone gets a little bit older and starts to, your children start to reach out to places you don't know anymore and you can't control because my children are all teenagers now um, they've still got that solid base to come back to and they've still got their home um, they've still got their parish and the family friends that they've known all their lives and have grown up with and who probably understand them better than anyone apart from us um, so all of those things make this amazing place where you stand your whole crash the thing with it, the problem with that is you get to um my age maybe a little bit younger but the midlife kind of crisis thing and you think is this it you know is this is this what i've done and is this all i'm going to do you know and and is it okay to just keep doing this um and it very much depends on how solid those foundations are um, is how much validity you can give that midlife crisis and if you get to that midlife and you say hey okay I didn't go around the world I didn't invent a cure for anything and I wasn't a missionary but I have created this solid foundation I've got beautiful children we've got a great parish life, we've got good friends, um, I've got a great job where I'm allowed to talk about God, um, 
that all contributes to saying, hey, okay, midlife moment of crisis, you can say it's okay. And there's still plenty of time to look ahead at changing the world. But um, what I've done so far is okay. And if you've worked hard enough at building those blocks, then a little shake at the top isn't going to knock you off. I think that's the important thing, is having that um, solid foundation, that place to stand, that tūranga wai wai, um, and then you can look out to the horizon um, and see what's coming and it's okay to be there. And that's us. Thank <laughs> you.